Hi, thank you for joining me for this unboxing and review of this uh, Bugs 3 quadcopter drone made by MJX. So it comes in this box. Nice thing about this drone is that it has brushless motors, 1806-1800 KV brushless motors, independent ESCs, and good range so let's open it up well let's see okay also comes with a camera bracket so you can mount a camera on it looks like this on the sides and the parts included okay so Take this out. We get an instruction manual and some bug stickers. We get the quad. So I think I'm going to unpack all of this quickly. That's everything unpacked. So yes, so let's have a closer look at the quad itself. Quite striking and it's this reddish color. <laughs> the eyes look good, nice shape, nice style, nice design. Got the bugs there and the bugs logo over here. Okay, so let's feel okay, quite flexible, but feels get a quite strong so you know, this is a nylon fiber frame, which should be very durable and very strong. So it does look very robust and good. Okay. Top shell here, soft and hard on the, the underneath. It looks as though we've got very bright LED lights at the bottom of the arms here. Okay. Got our... Now this is good to see. We've got our um, 2.4 gigahertz aerial that can actually be positioned below the craft. So this will improve signal greatly and this has a range of three to five hundred meters so it's a very good range for a quadcopter these little mounts are quite strong and st sturdy but obviously with the camera mount um, we think we've got landing skids as well um, This is just a little cover here um, that just goes on. Hey, don't take this off unless you have to. It can be a little bit tricky to get back on. It's obviously to lock the uh, camera mount in position. And it comes with a proprietary battery. And this is a 7.4 volt 1800 mAh battery and should be good for a flying time of about 20 minutes. So that's a good flying time for a quadcopter too. Um, let's just check and see what capacity the battery has come in at. Okay, come in at 86% and it's a two cell battery. And so yeah, always good to charge it up fully before uh, your flight. And yeah, fits in here quite comfortably. It's got this sort of mini connector, which then just plugs into the back over here. So let's just plug that in. And there we go. 
As you can see, we've got a very bright headlight in the front, which is good. And two flashing LEDs in the front. White and very bright. The back ones aren't on yet, but we'll see when we connect it up again now um, with the TX connected, with the, these ones come on too. So I'll just unplug this for now. But it fits in here quite firmly, so it shouldn't have any problems sort of coming loose. So that's nice and good. Uh, let's put that down there. Then if we have a look at the instruction manual. Nice colourful cover. Good quality paper. Quite legible, easy on the eye. Good grammar. Good diagrams, gives you all the relevant information you need. And you know, spare parts as well. So, very nice uh, instruction manual. And yeah, the stickers look good too. Okay, then with it, uh, we get this camera mount, and let's have a look. So most action cameras should fit in here, um, we'll, I'll get one just now and we'll check and see. And let's see, how does this go on? So that's the front of the craft, we've got a bracket here. Oh, it looks as though that just slides on, comes in there, and then we turn this like that and then that locks onto there so not suspension mounted so hopefully we won't have any uh, major problems with jello but we'll see when we fly it and then to remove it just need to slide it off again okay. then we get a bat bat battery charger and also UK compatible power adapter and this will just connect onto the balance plug of the battery here there and charge it up there's a light here that will either go on or go off uh, when it's fully charged we get four prop guards okay get two sets of propellers, so one to go on the craft and a set of uh, spare propellers and these propellers are quite thin actually um, and quite fairly flexible I see this one's marked B, so we'll have A and B propellers um, to know which ones to put onto uh, which arm. And the self-tightening propellers, which is good. And it looks as though it's nylon on the inside, so not, uh, not metal um, capped propellers. Okay, but a nice pitch. We also get uh, four landing skids, so if we, you're not using it with a camera, you don't need to put the landing uh, skids on. But obviously if we've got the camera mount on, we'd need the clearance, so we will need to put the landing skids on. And then we also get a little bag here, and this is a spanner um, to hold the top of the brushless motor uh, and tighten the propellers. Okay. 
Then you also get a Star Phillips screwdriver. And we get two screws and these little handles uh, to put onto the radio control transmitter. And so we also get a radio control transmitter. Okay. So with this, uh, you need to supply your, four, uh, your own four AA batteries. There is a screw that needs to be removed, uh, but this clips and holds on quite securely, so you don't necessarily have to have the screw in if you don't want to. Okay, so these little sticks are quite thin, um, but nice little grips on the top if, if you uh, use your thumbs. Uh, for doing it. This left one's not spring loaded because this doesn't have altitude hold. This one is spring loaded um, for your uh, 360 degree flips and rolls. If you want to um, put the prop guards on, the prop guards you actually have to remove these um, short landing skids first. So that you undo the two screws that are on the bottom here. Well, you don't have to remove it, but you need to remove the two screws. Then there are two little lugs, round lugs, that um, actually go in over here. So you put it on like that, uh, put, get the lugs, uh, round lugs into the holes, and then you need to put the uh, screws back in so I'm just doing it with one screw to show you for now and that's it so yes very big prop guards and quite strong so will offer good protection if you prefer to fly with the prop guards on so let me just take this one off again Put the screws back in. Okay, that's back on. And then also with the guards, you get some extra screws. Um, should you lose any of them in the process. Then to put the um, landing skids on, also get a, a, a small bag of screws with the landing skids. So the longer landing skids we put on again it's it's got a single round lug in the middle and two holes and the round lug will need to go into there and the other two holes like that and then uh, you've got to use two screws for each uh, landing skid and there's four of them uh, one for each arm And if we have a look at the camera mount now, this has got a strong little clip on this, so you need to unclip that here. Lift it up, then this comes down. And then with the action camera, you need to mount it with the power button over here to the top. It just slides into here, put it back into this position here, and lock it. And then you can still power it up, or you can still use the top button um, and access there, and still see uh, the screen at the back. Then uh, let's have a look at a uh, closer look at the uh, radio control transmitter. So this is the main power button, switch power button on, got a nice bright green light here indicating that it is on. Okay, so here we've got two buttons on the top left and two buttons on the top right. Now this button, this white button on the top left is for uh, adjusting speed and also turning the lights on and off, so a small press 
adjusts the speed so that's two beeps that's a high rate and a single beep for the low rate okay if you want to turn the lights off then you've got to press and a long hold now this has also got a motor lock and unlock make sure the throttle lever is in the down position and give it a short press for unlock and with the throttle lever in the down position and a long press you will lock the motors then the button over here is for a camera version so it doesn't work uh, with the camera mount and the top button on here is to do your 360 flips and rolls so you press and you can either flip or you can roll okay uh, these are trim buttons over here and there and this one over here is a, t a, a calibration button for the radio uh, control transmitter so let's connect up the battery I'm not going to put the propellers on but okay as I mentioned earlier you know the propellers are tell you whether they um, A or B so in the manual it tells you that the A propellers go on the front left shaft and the back right shaft and the B propellers go on the front right and the back left shaft so because they screw on automatically now this one is a clockwise motor so to s tighten it you have to put it on anti-clockwise okay and then until you get to good position you can tighten it by hand because you know as this turns clockwise it should be self tightening but if you want to use the spanner and hold it and secure it a little bit better then you just do it like that and then to undo the props you now because this is clockwise you undo this one clockwise and that propeller comes off so to connect up um, we've got to hold the red button down on the radio control transmitter power it up gives two beeps then we connect the quad okay we still got two lights flashing on the front and then because this has got a six axis gyro we need to calibrate and to calibrate we pull both sticks down to the right the lights flash and then go solid and then to unlock the motors we press down on the red button with the throttle lever down okay and that's it the motors going okay sounds very smooth and then to lock the motors again we give a long press with the throttle lever down and the motors stop so let's just start it up again okay so let's check the fail safe what will happen if this does uh, lose uh, transmission uh, with the radio control we'll switch it off thousand and one thousand and two so within two seconds it'll power down and drop wherever it is can we rebind with it um, if we uh, get closer by and it's still got enough battery and we can't find it Do that again now yeah. okay have to try and calibrate again first to rebind yes we can so if you can't see it you can maybe turn it on again and listen for the sound of the motors or the propellers um, to help you find it mm. so yes looking forward to flying this we'll take it out and have a flight and see how it performs 
I'll also do a night flight and have a look. I'm still not sure why I haven't got LEDs on at the back here. Um, and see in a separate uh, video um, how it looks at night.